Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxi. Let's look at the problem 36 in chapter 7. In this one, we need to prove the work done by the gravity depends only on the height of the hill, not on the shape or how it works, the path it covered. So for this one, we can see there is a person and he moves from the there initial point to there. And see, this force is kept changing, right? And the, uh, this force is due to gravity. The gravity never changed. But then you can see the D displacement kept changing with the angle. So we need to find the work in this process. How can we do that? First thing we consider, we cut this uh, distance in a lot of fractions. And for a small fraction, we can consider the distance it moved is called DL. Do you agree? So in this one, for this fraction, the work done is just the force times the DL and then cosine theta because this is the angle theta between them, between these two vectors. The next one, we do a trick because you can see in this case, it DL cosine theta, it looks like it depends on cosine theta. So how can we do that? We consider the Y component. So this is DL, right? We can consider Project this is DL in two components. Agree? DX, therefore we have DY and the DX. Agree? And you can see the DX didn't do work because the gravity is pointing down. This is 90 degree, cosine 90, zero. So only distance do the work is DY. Agree? So how can we get DY? dy is we project dl, so we have dl and this angle. So I change the color. Okay, it is a dl and this angle, sine this angle, right? How much is this angle? You can see the total is theta, and this one is 90 degrees. So this angle becomes a theta minus 90 degrees. Do you agree? So in this one, we get dy, and then we can just to simplify this equation, sine theta minus 90 degree is negative dl cosine theta. Agree? Yes. Now we input dl cosine theta inside, we get this term just equal to negative dy. And then we do the integral for the total work done by the person from initial to the final. So we do integral at both sides. You can see this is integral for dy. So look at the y component. The total, it moved at a y component is just h. So then we get negative mgh, agree? And then look at this term, it not depends on angle theta, it not depends on L, it just depends on the gravity and also initial position, final position, and it's a y component h. Do you agree? Thank you.